At the Visa screening room, I'm Travis Danrash for Red Carpet Diary. Hometown stars are always happy to come to the Toronto International Film Festival. Joan Kelly dug in at the premiere of Buried. Canadian actor Ryan Reynolds is literally buried in a box by director Rodrigo Cortez in this exciting nail biter. Where is it? <sighs> 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 This film is about such intense isolation. Was it difficult shooting in such a claustrophobic condition? Um, it was very difficult, but very worthwhile. Um, I had a great director and, and, a, and a, an amazing story to tell. And I think I was sort of energized by the, the idea that we were doing something that had never been done before. And, and I think that that's kind of what pushes you through. It's a, hor it's a horrific situation this person is faced with. You know, it's, it's thrilling all the way through. I hope the audience feels that way. And you reach a conclusion that hopefully most audiences find satisfying. Yeah, that's what it was. I mean, that it was impossible. So that, those things attract directors because we are foolish enough to feel attracted by impossibilities. But yeah, you're right. This is the kind of movie that shouldn't be done, but we did and we are here. So maybe we were lucky or maybe we knew what we were doing. There is some resolution and then there are some questions like with any good film. You want to walk out and, and have some, some, uh, some thought. You want it to be thought provoking and, and you know, provide a bit of a dialogue I think for the, for the audience and it does that. I hope it has some sort of visceral effect and, and a great, like I said, sustaining and long lasting impact where people are going to leave the theater and not say, all right, well that was another movie. I enjoyed it. I hope it does more than that. From the very first moment we understood that this was going to be a two people dance and I must say that he's the best dance partner a heterosexual director can ask for. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say, it's, uh, I don't know about the rope comparison. I, I think of this as the long-awaited sequel to Finding Nemo. <laughs>